This coming Friday evening at 7 o'clock at uh, St. Carlos Cathedral, uh, I plan to have a Mass for peace and healing. In lieu of all the uh, last week, this past week, the three shootings, both in Gilroy and El Paso and Dayton, it's just been heavy on my heart of, of how we as a country are needing to respond to the issues at hand. And there's it's a complex issue, but you have, for one thing, the, the violence, the adamant violence and gun violence that we see affecting us all. And then secondly, the tragedy of the loss of life, people that have been affected, injured, et cetera. And I think it's a time that maybe we as a Church of Monterey can gather and we can pray with one another with the idea and the hope that we can stir our people to raise their voices to our respective leaders to say enough is enough and we need to seek some kind of change in the way that we're treating this the present situation at hand so it, it's just been heavy to for me to as a religious leader i'm not a politician um, i'm not someone who is out there to stir uh, the politics or fan the flames of that but as a religious leader we can't also just sit back and say we just need to pray well we've been praying and we've been praying for people for change but it seems like that we need to continue to raise our voices and somehow stir those who have the ability to make some substantial changes whether it's in gun laws or uh, whether it's in um, background checks or or mental health we need to do things so that we can be able to go to these festivals and enjoy ourselves in a store buying school supplies without the fear of, of I need to carry a weapon to protect myself. It's ridiculous. So the time has come that we need to change and I just felt that if nothing else as a leader of the church, I could bring people, whoever might be willing to come, I invite you to come on Friday night, join me. It's a time of prayer, it's not a time of politics, but it is a time to listen to the good news and to see how do we apply that to our day-to-day -day life so that we can become truly the people God is calling us to be.